Number nine on our cross-country flight plan asks for us to find our true course and the variance. So the true course, TC, is going to be placed in this box and the variance is going to be placed in this box. In order to find these, we need our sectional chart. So we're using the Atlanta sectional and we are located in the northeastern portion of the Atlanta sectional. So open your chart the right way the first time. This is to the south and this is to the north. So we want to open it the north all the way to the east side and then we can quickly find our airport. Okay. So we have Charlotte and then we have Greer and then our airport right here and this is our pencil mark that we drew earlier. We need our plotter and what we're going to do, this one's called the ultimate plotter and it makes it a little bit easier. I'll demonstrate how to use it or how to find your true course with the plotter that's a little bit older style. But <clears throat> all we need to do is pl place a portion of the ruler a straight line on the line we drew. So it doesn't matter if I place the plotter here, 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 it doesn't matter. We could put it right here in the middle if we want to. And then we just need to orient this spinning portion of the plotter with north, south, east, and west. This is our longitude line and this is our lat latitude line. So we want to organize this so it's lined up nicely with that. Okay. You may need to move the plotter one way or the other, that's fine, but just line it up with your lat long lines. And then all you have to do, if we're flying this direction, it looks like about 133 degrees would be our true course plotted against the true north pole. So 133 is what we're going to use for our true course. So on the true course, 133 three goes there. Now I promised you I would show you how to find your true course with the older style plotter, which works very, very similar. So here is the older style plotter. We're going to again place a straight edge on the plotter on our line that we drew, but this time I need to make sure that I put the center grommet on one of the longitudinal lines. So I want to line up the edge with my pencil mark and put the center grommet on the longitudinal line. Now when I look straight up on the longitudinal line, I see where my pencil mark crosses. And I have two choices here. I see 313 degrees or I see 133 degrees. Well, which one makes more sense? Am I flying to the southeast to get to Columbia? Or am I flying northwest? Obviously we're going southeast, so I would choose 133 as my true course using the old style plotter. The next thing we have to do is find our variance. The variance comes from the difference between the true north and the magnetic north. The true north is identified by our longitudinal lines and the magnetic north is going to be identified by our isogonic lines, which are magenta dashed lines. If we follow this line up or down, eventually I'm going to find a number. This one is 7 west. The difference between the true north and magnetic north is 7 degrees west. So I use this number to put it into the variance. I'm going to add 7 degrees. What that does is it converts my true course to magnetic course. So my new answer goes up here. You may wonder, how did I know to add the 7? Well, if it's west, if the isogonic line shows west, I add it. And if it's east, I subtract it. Now, if I forget, then there's a little formula at the top of my E6B that shows me to add west or subtract east in order to correct my true course to magnetic course. So now my actual magnetic course is going to be 140.